Discussing the public finance bill, especially the provision of oil revenue sharing, Bunyol leaders and the people say adjustments should be made before the bill is discussed on the floor. They propose that central government should remain with 70%, 13% to local government, 4% to cultural institutions and 3% goes to the landowners. The member of parliament for Bujenje County, Kabakumba Masko, says the proposed royalty in the bill is too small. Giving our indication that this is what is fair for us and standing for it, it's not a right. Nobody will accuse me of being sectarian just because I'm pushing a right for my people. God forbid, nobody should. In any case, I was elected to do that. They also want government to commit 10% from the 70% it gets to cater for post calamities like environmental hazards and guarantee health and safety. Both residents and leaders are also opposed to natives losing land permanently and to the expense of investors. According to them, investors should only acquire land in the oil region by leasehold and before companies start to use the land, they first settle payments. To think that Kasirivu, uh, Princess Kamakumba, uh, Mukitali will go individually. Can we agree that the kingdom calls a peace from Acholi, from West Nile, from the Soka, and said, you people, this is our position. Can you help the 18 MPs from Bunyo to help it? It won't be for the faint-hearted. This struggle of incorporating this in the law, it will not. So be ready for the struggle. Yes. Let's make a decision and move. According to them, government should also honor its obligations to the oil region as it is mandated to do.